up everyone this is Al Dacman Barry and I did a lot of work before we start off that email right there is going to be the channel email so if you have any kind of funny memes or bus stories or car stories tool stories or memes pictures whatever send them to me because I think everybody else could use a laugh <laughs> Yeah. Regardless if you send me some uh, a meme or not, uh, if you send me an email, I will reply with a free copy of Starboard Maiden, uh, free of charge. It's going to be the full version because I feel like there's a lot of craziness going on in Romania, and I want to do a little bit to make it a little more entertaining for you to stay indoors. I think you'll like it. Maybe. Who knows? Hey, it's free. All right. All you got to do is. Type in that email and get yourself the copy. Let's get to it. Actually, we got to go back in time. All right, so my plan was to do something there. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, maybe it can take out the whole framework. Um, or maybe I just pull out the fans. And... Um, This kind of just came up, right? And I'm not going to record the whole thing, but I already started and I realized that this is something that can be achieved real quick. Yeah, a day like today, uh, I need a quick victory. And that might be it. No, Bella. Yeah. That, uh, some pretty janky things. These are the three doors, and I'm assuming this was the driver's door. I'm hoping that is the switch, and the door is just, well, whatever they call it. Something's holding it. There's more tape here. Okay. So that's the door, and I think... Well, that's the switch, and it feels good, but... Oh, there we go. Alright, so it's open, and you put your... That's how it latches on. Well, that's just not right. Oh. I'm missing a piston. That's where it's supposed to hook into, into this bolt. And that's your pivot point. There's supposed to be a piston here, which I am missing. Okay, that is going to be something we have to find. Okay, so if you guys know of one or whatever, let me know in the comments because I'm definitely going to need one of those. Anyways, let me get back to work. No, God! Yes, that is a pile of firewood. And that is a pile of dirt. And this is where we are now. Look at all this crap. So, what we need to do is, we need to clean it up first before we move on to that. Jesus, I don't need a broom, I need a freaking pickaxe. What the hell? 
All right, what I'm gonna do is sweep that insanity. There's still crap in there, but I'm not sure if you can see it. It's a lot of dirt. And underneath this, there's all this cheese puff stuff, corn puffs. Look at that. So at some point I gotta take this door off, but I have no idea how it's mounted. It's riveted on this side, but I don't know what this is. Maybe this is welded on. I don't know. So I'm gonna try to get this out as much as I can. water bubbles out so it doesn't cavitate. Să moară mama ce parpalac ți-ai tras. Look at the amount of mud. All this dirt and mud. Woo! You lazy like me. I'll never do that, by the way. Instead of sweeping all the mud, I'm using this as a broom. Shelter like a plow. I do run a, um, a tool group on Facebook. <laughs> One of the most overlooked steps when using a specialized tool is putting things away. And when it comes to power washers, there is a particular um, process, right? Because that pump, you don't want to cavitate. So you hook everything up, just the way you see here, input hose, the pressure hose, and obviously it's power, and you want to make sure that power cord is away from any water. And if you can't, put it up, put a bag around it. There's all sorts of tricks. They'll have the tips right there. Now, before you turn it on, make sure you turn the water on, and then let the water go through. And you're gonna see, like earlier before, you saw those bubbles? Yeah, that's the water. That's the air coming out through the water. Once you get a nice steady stream, go ahead and push that button. Now. The end process is pretty much backwards. So turn the water off, obviously you turn the power off, and let everything drain out like I just thought I did. Now you're not gonna get all of it out because it's still water in the hose. But next step is gonna be to you know make sure it's off, unplug it. After you unplug it, you're going to take this apart. Now, I like to take apart, well, actually I don't really have a me preferred method. All I know is I don't want to take that one. Because all the water is going to come out. There's a little seal here. There you go. As you coil it up, you know, just get all the dirt, all the crap that's stuck to it. 
And I like to make sure that everything is in a nice, uh, you know, same kind of, you'll feel the hose has a natural tendency, right? If you don't have one of these Velcros, you can make them or just use a zip tie. And like I said, I'm going to try to get this as empty as possible. I don't know if I said that, but I'm saying it now. Now, I'm going to disconnect the hose. Yes. Uh, this is a 100 foot hose, so there's a lot of water. It might look like it's still on, but it ain't. This has a uh, GFI built in. I'm not, I don't want to drag it. So if you got it like this, give it a test when you plug it in. Basically this will make sure that if there's any shorts, it will just disconnect. It's a really good feature to have on, on anything that's electric deal, dealing with water. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to coil up. Let's do it a little smarter here. The same. I'm going to wipe it down as I go along. Now usually these things do not come with a box. So improvise. When I bought the house there was this uh, really retro looking cat carrier beat up. But for this it is just great. Uh, try not to put it with my hair. Now I don't really have a uh, method for this yet, other than just make it fit. Okay, I'll get this sucker to line up, latch it, there you go. Being that it's a cap carrier, it has this grate and it lets any moisture evaporate out so you don't get that nasty moldy kind of smell. So, if not, get a box, drill some holes in it, as long as it's structurally sound, and you're good to go. Same with the tools that I used. Uh, they got very muddy, so I pretty much power washed them, laid them out front and back, and now they're ready to be wiped down, especially the metallic ones so they don't rust. Now we got some Romanian wood here. And yes, I know what's going on with that stupid Austrian company. But I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to try to remove all these freaking nails. Holy mother. And we always want to make sure we get every single nail because these suckers can really do damage to tire. Heads on these are really dug in. So... I'm just going to use torque, not twerk, torque, torque. I don't want to do this because I don't want to, I don't want to take it off someone's face. Now this one because it's sticking out. That's a safety issue. I'm just going to bring it in there. All it takes is one good hit. Because this is pissing me off. How the fuck? Ah, 
hello. There you are. Now you notice how I'm holding it like this and just whacking it. Try to get it. Holy crap. Jesus. I know there's a blasphemous joke in here somewhere. You know, long ass nails. Let's try doing this. Banging it back in. And then banging it back out. Holy mother of God. Look at the size of this thing. I'm gonna find a place to put these things. I'll meet you here in a second. So it's been a while since <laughs> Olivia had a driver door, but now it's there. Now I still have to do the heater core, but um, I don't know why. I just had the inspiration to do this, and I don't know. Maybe I just needed a victory. Sometimes you just gotta pick a battle you can win, that you know you'll win. And that can do a lot for your self-esteem, so I guess that's my uh, tip for the day. But yeah, this is a big thing, at least to me. So, hopefully you get a kick out of it and you learned a thing or two. I hope you had a good Easter. Just hang in there. Remember the, the email? Send me an email. I will send you a copy of Starboard Maiden to just help you get through this um, current insanity. So... This is Al Dakman Barry, and I hope you have a great ride. Come on, stick. Right. I'm gonna have to sweep again. I should probably record more than my freaking shorts. <laughs>